Second Nephi chapter 32 is a continuation of Nephi's words in chapter 31. And in this chapter, Nephi tells us plainly what the doctrine of Christ is. Now, for the 47% of you who only watched the first four minutes, in the second four minutes, I read the verses where God the Father is speaking to Nephi. Then Jesus Christ the Son speaks to Nephi. Then Nephi reiterates their words, and then Jesus Christ again speaks to Nephi, and immediately afterward, God the Father speaks to Nephi, confirming his son's words. This is all given as an example of what Jesus promised in John chapter 14, which I briefly explained in <clears throat> the second four minutes of yesterday's video. Both the Father and the Son Two distinct and different individuals will make their abode with you if you ask, seek, and knock, as with Nephi. Then Nephi tells us in chapter 32 that there will be no more doctrine given until after Jesus manifests himself to us in the flesh. I have read to you where Nephi is speaking directly to his seed at Bountiful and also to us. In verse 6 of chapter 32, we then read, Behold, this is the doctrine of Christ, and there will be no more doctrine given until after he shall manifest himself unto you in the flesh. And when he shall manifest himself unto you in the flesh, the things which he shall say unto you shall ye observe to do. Then Nephi laments because we don't, or in other words, won't, search knowledge. Then in verse 7 we read, and now I, Nephi, cannot say more. The Spirit stoppeth my utterance, and I am left to mourn because of the unbelief and the wickedness and the ignorance and the stiff nakedness of men, for they will not search knowledge nor understand great knowledge when it is given unto them in plainness, even as plain as word can be. Knowledge is a covenant term. Adam knew Eve, just like the brother of Jared knew Jesus, as we will read in Ether chapter 3, We LDS are no better than the Gentiles who reject the Bible, exclaiming, We don't need another Bible, when we don't do what Nephi is telling us to do. The sealed portion is waiting somewhere for us to exercise faith in Jesus like the brother of Jared. Those who do will abide the day. I can visualize Jesus expounding the sealed plates to those who remain after the great and dreadful day, just as he expounded Isaiah and all things to the people at Bountiful, which are also reserved for us to receive in the future. Those of us who endure faithfully as Nephi, Jacob, Isaiah, and Jesus Christ plainly explain over and over again. To finish, I will read verses 8 and 9. And now, my beloved brethren, I perceive that ye ponder still in your hearts, and it grieveth me that I must speak concerning this thing. For if ye would hearken unto the Spirit which teacheth a man to pray, ye would know that ye must pray. For the evil spirit teacheth not a man to pray, but teacheth him that he must not pray. But behold, I say unto you that ye must pray always and not faint, that ye must not perform anything unto the Lord, save in the first place ye shall pray unto the Father, in the name of Christ, that he will consecrate thy performance unto thee, that thy performance may be for the welfare of thy soul. Enos prayed and prayed until he received the answers that he was looking for. He heard and saw things. The brother of Jared also prayed and prayed until he heard and saw things. Nephi also prayed earnestly and diligently until he heard and saw things. I hope and pray that everyone who watches my videos and notices the patterns of seeking Christ will pray like your eternal lives depend on it until you likewise hear and see things.